Hello guys, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do, <coughs> excuse me, the May 2016 love forecast for the Pisces. Alright, so this is going to be a six card spread. It's going to um, look at what's going on subconsciously. And then uh, we're going to look at uh, the sexual chemistry, emotional connection, Is there any external influences that are having an effect on the relationship and how are they affecting it? Um, <clears throat> is it a potential for long term? And then a final outcome. So this will be a reading for the singles and those already involved or already with someone. Um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel for so that you can enter to win the 3,000 subscriber giveaway that I'm planning on doing for this channel and make sure that you thumbs up this video if you want a more personalized reading check out the um, link in the video description box Alright, so let's see. For card number one, you got the Ace of Swords. So this is a new beginning. Um, card number one should also uh, let you know what this person that you're going to meet. Um, if you're single, um, for the month of May, I'm seeing a new beginning is on the horizon because you got the Ace of Swords as, the, as card number one. Um, so the Ace, the Ace is always a new start. And the Swords is... Um, basically very quick you know a quick restart um, sometimes it can be a victory over some sort of conflict because it is a sword but it doesn't necessarily mean conflict with a person you know this is about your mental focus so um, this is triumph in a situation you know that required you know um that required a lot of focus and determination and intellectual capacity. Okay, so this is not just like your strength. This is your your perception and how quick you can think. Um, so for this particular card, I would say, um, you know, whoever this person is, if you're single, um, they are very just and very transparent and also creative um, trying to think of this something else I think that um, for this card because again um, card number one points to um, this is either about yourself or the other person so it's either you or the other person more than likely it's you um, it seems like there's some slight conflict um, within yourself right now I can see for some of you though there's a lot of determination to overcome it though which is what the Ace of Swords is about. Because um, it <clears throat> it's kind of like a, a fresh start or a new beginning. So your sexual connection with this person is the Five of Cups. Um, what this means, what the Five of Cups basically means is when someone cries over spilled milk. They see the cup is half empty instead of half full. So I do see that currently... Um, if you're with someone, um, you know, your inability to, it, it seems like either you or your partner, okay? It seems like, you know, there's, it seems like there's some sort of, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Some sort of issue sexually 
So it, right now, some of you Pisces that are involved or are having a hard time um, in the sex department right now because of the emotions of this Five of Cups. So um, you know, when you look at the illustration of this card, you can see like the it, it's like the moon has no face on it. Yeah, it's almost like because usually you'll see a face on the moon in these cards, and but it's it's like emitting off this weird, you know, aura or whatever, or energy field or whatever, and it's just really making this person very angry in the illustration, and you know this anger, this um, type of ne negativity will interfere with the sexual chemistry, so. You know, if you're single or involved with someone, you might want to look at that because, you know, to, you know, do this all day and then expect someone to be ready for sex can sometimes be a little, you know, weird. So before you meet anybody, you may want to take a look at that at yourself or maybe it could be, you know, someone that's coming into your life. Um I'll have to look at the other cards. So your emotional connection, you got the Ten of Cups. So whoever this person is, um, this is the this is a card of reunions. Um, I think it's a possibility that um, some of you may be looking at someone from the past. Um, if you're currently with someone, though, I do see that there is some kids involved. Um, But overall, the Ten of Cups is a very happy card. It's, it's a card of completion. So that's really good to feel emotionally complete with someone. And I think that's just someone, you know, it's positive energy between the two of you. Um, the energy is mixed. Okay. So there's definitely some positive and negative factors here. You know, especially with the Five of Cups coming up. Kind of seems like the family life is a little hectic with the Five of Cups because, you know, the cups are spilled over. So it just seems like there's a lot of kind of chaos in the home. But other than that, you know, I do see a very emotionally supportive environment. But I just see things as being a little hectic and just a little stressful. I don't think this is a part of your personality but well it is of course but you want to just I don't know probably try to meditate or something when you're stressed out yeah so um, the surrounding energies are outside factors external factors you got the king of pentacles so this is a literal person okay so I mean, this could be you, this could be your partner, you know, the King of Pentacles is someone that has the wisdom of possessing things. So, um, this is a really good energy to have around you. Um, I do kind of feel as though this person um, might be doing some interference whenever I see a person come through. This is kind of like their energy um, and they're kind of opinionated. You know, and just very smart about, you know, holding on to their power in the situation. So, just be on the lookout for that person, the King of, of Pentacles. Um, is it any long-term potential? <clears throat> Pisces, and I did get the Page of Swords. Um, so, I think this is something that you're going to have to be sort of insightful about. Um, I would say... Judging by the final card that yes, it is a possibility, but with the page of swords, it's something about this page of swords that I wanted. First of all, this is another literal person because it's a court card. That's one thing about it. So I get the sense that if you are with someone long term, um, this could stand for them. 
um, if you're suspecting you know that there's something going on then it could be them I mean this is a general reading so it's kind of hard to read everybody but um, the page of swords is you know indicating someone insightful perceptive intuitive and you know someone that keeps secrets so you know I would say yes you know that would be good because this you know the page of swords judging by the other cards can be trustworthy especially with the outcome card you got the queen of cups so you literally got one two three people that showed up in this reading so the queen of cups um, I believe that this is the queen of cups is the outcome um, I believe this is some sort of, you know, solution for the chaos that's going on. So I would say the, you know, what's going on, I'd say that you'll, you'll get that situation handled. I think that it's probably going to be another person that's going to come in, maybe your mother-in-law, maybe if you have someone that, you know, where it's, you're having a hard time, um, so I think somebody may step in to assist because I do see a hectic family life. And then also I kind of see, especially with this Ten of Cups, that there may be some of you with husbands away and or some of you with wives away. You know, it could be the other way around. So the Queen of Cups is a very <coughs> emotionally sound uh, queen who understands people. You know, she's the, the Queen of Cups, so she's all water and feeling. So she uh, definitely cares about other people's feelings. So I think she's going to step in and, and assist with this. I mean, I think the card could represent you, you know, coming through. But I think this is another separate person. Um, that's going to do it for now, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Uh, make sure that you check out my website the video uh, I'm sorry the link is in the video description box um, you can go there and purchase a reading a live personal reading with me I do my readings via Skype or phone um, and go ahead and make sure you subscribe and thumbs up and leave a comment and thank you so much for watching bye bye